Hi everybody, uh, Richard Wilson here up at Raw Studios in West Yorkshire. Uh, welcome to this first lesson that I'm doing for UKDrummer.com. I'm uh, hoping that this is going to be the first of many. Um, so what I want to talk to you about today is a concept of, of breaking down 16th notes. Now, most of the time we hear 16th notes played in four groups of four, making the 16th notes. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the... Most sort of beginners to intermediate people will move that around the kit. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a crash. Yeah? Now there's much more exciting ways to move 16th notes around and the one that we're going to talk about today is dividing that up into groups of five. So normally we have four groups of four giving us 16. This time what we're going to have, we're going to have three groups of five and one left over. Still gives us 16 notes but we're just thinking about it in a slightly different way. So rather than the sticky pattern B being one E and a, right, left, right, left, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that into a group of five, which is gonna go right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, left, left. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat that three times, and then we're gonna add the, the last note on to make up the bar of 16th notes. Try that again for you. Now you can see that I'm kind of ghosting the left hand and accenting the right hand. That's the sort of thing that you need to be thinking about doing. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and. And that's going to finish us back on the next downbeat with the left hand. Okay, so the next thing you can do, you talk about the accent, is just think about the accent, which is if we get the pulse going, that finishes down on the downbeat. Okay, so once we've established that we can get the accent, we've got the sticking pattern, we can start to mess with it and just pull out the accent. So we could play the same accent with flams. So that sounds like this. We could put some diddles in there and make it into a nice little intricate pattern with some diddles in the middle of it. So you can see there's, there's a number of different options on how you can get this to work. So the idea of playing the basic pattern of right, left, right, left, left, then maybe thinking about the accent, adding flams, adding some diddles, or whichever variation you want to use, then that's absolutely fine. And then what we can do is we can start to add that into groove and we can start to move that around the kit. So what I'll do is I'll move over to the kit and I'll show you some ideas of playing it with some groove and using it as fills.
Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. Work on it in your own time, work on it slowly, gradually speed it up, but above all else, have some fun with it, and I'll hopefully see you soon.